Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother. This episode wouldn't be complete if I didn't talk about 9-11. Now, while I don't cover conspiracy theories, I am one of those people that believe that 9-11 was an inside job. Like, ain't no fucking jet fuel melting, steel beams, nigg- too many niggas hurt, bombs go off. One of the owners, I think, of the 9-11 building, one of Twin Tower 1 or 2, I don't, who cares, actually took out insurance. It's too many coincidences. Osama bin Laden was a CIA agent in 1980, so I don't believe in coincidences. But the sheeps do, so then there's that. I will share two stories with you. Marcy Borders was a legal assistant who worked for Bank of America in the World Trade Center. She survived 9-11, covered in dust, became known as the Dust Woman or Dust Lady. She died of stomach cancer in August 2015, she believed was caused by the dust. It probably was. Right? All these people died. 3,400 people died. I think it was about that many. Died jumping off the building in the plane or in the fucking building as it caught on fire and collapsed. And then we got another dude. It wouldn't be complete. You know, Got to give you a story about a black person and a story about a white dude. Now the dude, I got to say, this motherfucker was a real John McClane. Because it says, during the 9-11 attacks, an NYPD officer named John Perry was filing his retirement papers at the police headquarters when he first heard the explosion. He asked for his badge back and rushed to the Twin Towers to help. He was killed while assisting a woman in the South Tower as it collapsed. The NYPD awarded him the Medal of Honor. So, the NYPD does have some non-scumbag-ass police officers. He probably beat up a couple niggas in Hispanic, so you know, we ain't gonna rush it too quick. But for that, he actually, he went out like a motherfucking soldier. And the fact that he actually did that, that's some brave shit. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I love humanity. I love mankind. I don't love you motherfuckers that much. If I see a building on fire or people need like a fucking skyscraper, you on your own. That's just what it is. Especially if, if I'm in there. Like a lot of people going to say, damn, well, what if you was in there? Would you want somebody to save you? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't expect any mortal person to do shit for me. But if they do, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. That's some heroic shit. Either that or his life sucked. Like, he probably got washed in a divorce. He ain't had no girlfriend. He wouldn't get no consistent pussy. His money probably was fucked up and he's old. So he probably was like, fuck this. But if that wasn't the case, he hate his wife. That's all I got to say on that. Like, I'm <laughs> I'm not going into a fucking burning skyscraper. And I got a wife and kids. Fuck them. I want to see my kids till I get old and die. Like Naturally, most of us will live to a ripe old age of 67 to 83. I'm not trying to shorten my lifespan at 55. I'm assuming that's how old he was. In any event, if you like this episode and you believe that 9-11 was an inside job, you don't want to subscribe to me because I don't cover conspiracy theories. While I'm a conspiracy theorist, that's not some shit I like to discuss with people. I keep it to myself. In any event, I'm out. No!